Welcome to Jackson High. Your college professors have given you glowing praises. I have to give you a hug. Oh, you were my fairy godmother to teach and coach. This is a dream job. Jumping in in the middle of the semester is going to be a challenge. I'm up for it. Well, the squad is practicing right now. Shall we meet them? I'd love to. Okay. <laughs> These girls are really talented. They can fling themselves around, all right. Hey, BLT. Hey, BLT. That's my nickname. Blaze and Lorraine Tippett. We're all about girl power, aren't we, ladies? So let's see. This is Brooke, Jerry, Lisa, Tabitha, Ashley. Wait, you'll never remember all these names. Uh, Let me just introduce you. This is Emma Carr. She's mm -hmm. taking over Miss Hanley's world geography class. She's also your new cheerleading coach. Hi, Hi, I'm Megan Harper. Oh, it's nice to meet you. You ladies will be happy to know that Coach Carr has extensive cheerleading experience. Our last coach didn't know the difference between a herky and a hurdler. <laughs> well, I do. And that was a difficult reload you guys pulled off. Who choreographed that? That'd be me. <laughs> I'm impressed. I see that you all are in good hands. I've got a meeting with the superintendent. Oh, Mom. Say hi to Superintendent Tompkins for us. Okay. Uh, Principal Tippett is your mom? Yeah. It's a curse I've learned to bear. <laughs> Can I see what you guys were doing? Sure. Yeah. Hi, I'm Emma Carr. I'm taking over Miss Hanley's class. Nice to meet you. Hi. It's nice to meet you. Hey, Adam Reeve, tennis coach. Little U.S. history on the side. Oh, tennis coach. I'm the new cheerleading coach. Ah, so Lorene hired herself another sacrifice. Have you had a Fab Five encounter yet? A Fab Five? Yeah, Fab Five, Satan's cheerleaders. <laughs> you think I'm kidding. Uh, this is Helen Durant, the other world geography teacher. I'm, uh, I'm sorry. Car. Car. <laughs> nice to meet you. I'm cheerleading coach. <laughs> wow, look how young she is. Are you going to start a pool? I think it's a must. Put me down for four weeks. I'm going to give her five. But you guys are betting on how long I'm going to last? Nothing personal, honey. But those cheerleaders have been through four coaches already this year. Yeah, and the last one lasted, uh, what, three weeks? So, actually, we're being very generous in our expectations of you. <laughs> Why don't I get in on that pool? Hey, how'd it go? Well, I only saw them for a couple minutes, but what I did see, Tim, they were good. They were really sloppy and they had no polish, but I have some incredible athletes to work with. That's great. So, no regrets moving here, huh? Well, I miss my mom. I miss my morning runs with Heather. I miss us going to church with John and Anita. You want to head back home? No. I want to see my husband get his master's degree. Then what did you have planned? Maybe making my mama a grandmama. Why don't you take that coat off? Why don't you? You know, I am totally spanked. I do not want to do a briefs class today. Let's just ditch. I'm down. I need to finish my stupid paper on stupid McCarthyism. I'm not ditching. I can do with Coach Reeve anytime, any day. Look, I took this picture from yesterday. Oh, Lisa, what are you? His stalker, though? Shut up. He's hot. Um, even if his junk was on fire, he still wouldn't be hot. <laughs> <laughs> You're just jealous. You know what? Please stop drooling. You're gonna get my shoes back. Let's go. Let's go. <laughs> bye, bye, guys. Hold up. Thought we were ditching. Look, I'm turning my paper in first. It's perfect. I'm not gonna let him take any points off. Are you serious? I'm serious. Here's my paper. On time. You know, again, I'm really sorry I can't stick to class. I'm certain you can, Brooke. Go sit down. Wait, I thought you knew. Cheerleading tracks next week, and Coach Carr asked me to help her put together a schedule. She told me this morning she was on her way to put a note in your box. Well, there was no note in my box, so go sit down. You know, it's probably there right now. I'll go get it. Oh, and, you know, Jerry's supposed to come with you. Well, aren't you going with them? No. I'm staying here. With you. That'd be so cool. Oh, Brooke, thank you. So, we saw in one of your magazines you can apply to be Chili of the Month and actually get on the cover and everything. Oh, 
Uh, yeah, you can. Uh, you get more than that, though. You get scholarship money. You guys should apply. I'll write you a letter of recommendation. You know what? I bet if I was on the cover of Cheerleading Today, the USC song girls would totally take me. <laughs> you want to be a song girl? That's great. I mean, I've seen them before, and they're amazing. I know. And you know what? They also live in L.A., which is where my dad lives. She keeps begging him to let her go live with him, but he doesn't have room. She's got this new kid. Excuse and... me. My dad cannot wait for me to get out there. You know, he said if I get into USC, he's going to add a room onto his house just for me. Wait, why aren't you girls in your third period? Oh, coach, you thought school early. We just wanted to come here and help you schedule practice and tryouts. I mean, you said you wanted to give us some individual help, so... <laughs> yeah, I did. I just thought maybe after school. Let me look. What about today? I can work with you guys today. What do you need help with? Choreography? Tumbling? Forget tumbling. I'm not going to tumble anyway. Oh, I don't think you have a choice, though, Jerry. The Constitution says you have to do it by cancer when you get on the squad. I'm sorry. I guess you don't know. I was in a horrible car accident in October, and I have a doctor's note that says I'm not supposed to tumble. You know, plus I messed up her hair. Shut up. <laughs> Well, I will talk to Principal Tippett about it and see if we can make an exception, but I can't make any promises. Hi. Hi. Is Principal Tippett available? Oh, yeah, she is. Great, thanks. Hey, Mrs. Reddit. Ah, so what'd you do this time, Reeve? Just trying to get Brooke and her gang transferred out of my class again. You really have it in for my cheerleaders. No, only five of them. Emma Carr. Come on in, Great. I have been hearing incredible things about how you're doing. Oh, really? You're a natural teacher. You have an air of confidence, and that's what these kids really respond to. Thank you. Excuse me, Pamela Blackburn to see you. Oh, is that Jerry Blackburn's mother? Because that's why I actually came in here to talk to you about Jerry. Lorraine. Excuse me. I've got a bone to pick with you over your new cheerleading coach. Um, I'm Coach Carr. Did you tell my daughter she's not going to make the squad next year because her doctor won't let her tumble? Uh, no, that's not what I said. I did, however, explain to her the constitutional rules. I don't care about that. You're not going to keep Jerry off the squad for something that isn't even her fault. I'll take you in this school to court if I have to. Now, Pam, no need to put the fear of God into my staff. Coach Carr was just telling me about Jerry's predicament. We will get a committee together with our NCA rep and Ray Stoddard at Central Office, and we'll come up. Lorraine, I need to know. I need to let Coach Carr get back to class, and then I'll answer any of the questions that you have. I'll calm her down. Our girls have been friends for years. You just keep up the good work. Okay. <laughs> Oh, thank you. Thank you, Megan. I'm never gonna go back to that. Yes, you can. Cindy, you stop biting your nails and relax. You're not competing with your sister. They want to see your best. Tabitha Doran. <laughs> Or Megan's. Oh, she doesn't just miss Megan, but Cindy hasn't gone yet. I have to apologize to Megan. <laughs> what kind of booster president am I missing my own daughter's tryout? Mwah. Your dad, you're so proud of you. Love you, Mom. Hey, Brooke. I know your mom isn't here yet, but she says she promised to come watch you. That's funny. She's never came to see me before. Jerry Blackburn. Yeah, Jerry. Blackburn, what's going on? We already took this up in committee and it was decided. What makes you think it's only up to you and your little committee? Go ahead, baby. <laughs> City Hearts, I'm in! <laughs> Dakota Lumley, you're in? <laughs> Summer Samuelson, in? Wait, where's Megan? We get to be cheerleaders. Isn't that the most exciting thing in our pathetic lives? Oh my god. Jerry, you're not on here. What? No way. Coach Carr made you co captain? Well, I, I feel like we could do a really good job if we work together. It's okay. We're jerks. For a second, I thought she was going to run her over. You know she wants to. <laughs> Coach Carr was planning to make Megan co-captain, and you said okay? But I've always been the only captain. Brooke, I can't tell Coach Carr that a girl who's perfectly qualified. Did it occur to you that I'm the best one for the job? Or that Megan has never choreographed a single routine because she sucks at it? That you are like everyone else. You think everything I give is because I'm your daughter. I hate you being principal. I don't even have a mom anymore. Brooke, I, I wish you wouldn't say that. Well, the truth hurts, doesn't it, Principal Timmy?
So, is Megan still going to be our captain? Megan's not our problem. Our problem is the coach who thinks she can do whatever she wants with our squad. Like hell. Look at what Paris Hilton is wearing. Like, Party in like, yo, look at this. So every night. Nice. Look. Oh, that's hideous. Uh, yeah. 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 oh. Hey, Mr. Spretnik. Hey, Mr. Spretnik. Now, uh, you girls are going to behave this summer, right? How do you want us to behave? This is every time. I think you would be hot right there. What's up, baby? Oh, my God. Get a room. Uh, uh, wait, wait, how did you sneak on campus? The last day of school. What are you gonna do to me? Uh, arrest you? Arrest me? Again? It's up, Ash. Okay, look at this one. Jerry, better tighten your animal's leash. Animal? Down below. Hurt! Hurt! Looks like a dog. Yo, what's up? I just texted you. I'm gonna score some blood for top of this kickback. She down? Let the girls get it. He gets to him for free. You don't forget, Weed. Coach Carl probably make his pee in a cup at cheer camp. No, she won't. Maybe she will. Because that's kind of not too yeah. bitch she is. Bye. 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 Here, let her hear me. Bye, girls. We'll see you on Wednesday. For cheer camp. Happy Bye. summer. I wonder what's going on with Paul. She's being so cold. Well, you don't want my opinion. Oh, here, by the way, here's your $200. Never should have let you in on that form. <laughs> Oh, here you go, you sore loser. Buy your wife some flowers. No, no, no. You won that money fair and square. And besides, I'm not buying my wife anything right now. And why not? Because our 10-year anniversary is coming up in a few weeks, and I want her to think better than that. Oh, you better remember. It's a setup. I've already booked a romantic weekend. Looks like Coach Carr is moving in a new territory. I guess he won't be giving me a little kiss now. Watch this. I want Mama to take the kids for a couple of days. We get ourselves a second honeymoon. And you don't think your wife is going to suspect something? God, I hope not. <laughs> Excuse me. Country? Hey. I just wanted to give you this. It's all chill songs I thought you'd love. Thank you. It's very thoughtful of you. No problem. Very sweet of you. So I will see you in a couple days, okay? Bye. Have a good summer, kiddo. <laughs> Thanks. You too. Bye, Lise. What? This is totally mine. Uh, I'm so <laughs> stupid. said I could have a party. I said you could have a few friends over. I did not say you could pass out booze to the entire school. There had better be some tequila left in that bottle for my margaritas or you are in big trouble. <laughs> I love your mom. Oh, my God. Oh, my God. Oh my God. Wait, let's have her make a party. Jerry is such a bitch. She totally break up with her. No, she should break up with you. Why? Because you're a jerk, that's why. Come on, you know I'm solid, right? Well, I don't think so. You don't think so what? I don't think you're a good guy. Why am I not a good guy? Hmm? I don't think so. Oops. <laughs> if daddy calls why I'm gone, tell him to try my cell phone. Look, I don't know why you get your hopes up with that man. He's obviously too self-absorbed. Jeez, the way you rag on him? No wonder he left. Brooke, I want you to have a good time. I don't want to fight. Yeah, all right, whatever. Bye. Hey, cheer camp's only a week, and New Orleans is only a few hours away. Okay. There's Jackson High's shiny new star. Lorraine, this is my husband, Tim. Very nice to meet you. Emma has told me such nice things about you. Oh, nice to meet you. Going to camp in a limo. Yeah. When Brooke and Ashley asked me, I thought, why not? It might be a good bonding experience for this one. Well, you should go, baby. I'll see you soon. Oh, I'll call you tonight, okay? Better. 
Love you. Love you too. Jose, nice to meet you, and I'd love to have you over for dinner sometime. Absolutely. Thanks. Ow! Ow! She was added back to the squad for Superintendent Tompkins. Coach Hart is freaking. I know, I love it. Do you have the central office's phone number? No, no, no. You're not going to call central office. Not without my permission, ever. But three other girls didn't make the squad because they couldn't do it back in history. How is that fair that Jerry is and they're not? The decision's already been made. I know that you want to do the right thing for the squad, but the right thing to do right now is to welcome Jerry back and go on to camp. Please. joke on the captains, tape them up in their rooms like they did last year, but Brooke and Lisa took it. She's lying. Come on, you guys. Look, I don't want to ruin your fun, but you can't just steal someone's stuff. So why don't you give it back, and I'll take you someplace to get your own roll. Okay? Let's go. Come on, let's get ourselves. I'm gonna go ask Coach Wilson if I can borrow her car because it's oh, late. You know what? I can hold your stuff for you if you want. Okay, um, two seconds. Okay. Thank you. Right back. That was too damn easy. Seriously. What are you doing? Well, Coach Carr says she doesn't want to ruin our fun, so we're gonna have some fun. What can we have here? <laughs> you guys are crazy. <laughs> Hotbox means. Neither do I, but it kind of sounds like, you know. Well, if you didn't send it, who the hell did? This is not funny. Yeah, I, I really would love to have a brawl. Really you know, it's so that is hot. You girls sent Coach Reeves a dirty text from my phone? I told you she'd think hotboxing was something about sex. Chill out, it's not about sex. It means smoking weed in your car. When does up. Get it? Hotbox? And you think that's better? What is wrong with you girls? I am married. Coach Reeve is married. Do you have any idea how ugly this could have gotten? We're sorry, okay? We thought we were doing you a favor. We all know you like Coach Reeve. <sighs> Never touch my phone again. No problem, Coach Carr. I don't even know what to think about you girls anymore. What are we supposed to think of you? You're having a freaking heart attack over a stupid little joke. We really did think you'd laugh about it. So laugh. It's late. You'll need to get back to your own rooms. Now! You know, just go. See ya. Oh, I wouldn't want to be ya. It's not nice. nice to get a life. Why are you here, Brooke? Why are you a cheerleader? Because I'm good at it. You're good at the physical part. But there's more to it than that. It's about being a certain kind of person. A person who cares. Cares about her squad, her fellow students, her school. You know what? Save the lecture. The school is all my mother ever talks about. I'm a cheerleader for me. That's what people notice. Me. Look at your uniform. Your name isn't on the back of this. You don't have a number. This uniform isn't about you, Brooke. It's about being a part of something bigger than you. 
Anyone can get noticed. There's nothing special about that. But it takes someone special to inspire others. Do you want to know why I made Megan co-captain of the squad? Because she knows how to inspire people. And you, Brooke? You don't... Jackson High, I give you your varsity cheerleaders. You guys both stepped up and ran the practices. You figured out the lighting, the effects, and raised the money to pay for it. Awesome job, you guys. And Brooke, this was especially your show. The choreography, the presentation was beyond amazing. I am so proud of you. You know that that was the best pep rally in Jackson history. And I think we all know who we have to thank for that. Give it up for Coach Carr, you guys. Oh, yeah. <laughs> <laughs> you guys great. Oh, it wasn't me. You guys go home and get some rest. I'll see you tomorrow. So proud of you. Brooke? Brooke? You are so wonderful out there. How about we go to dinner tonight? Just you and me. You know, I'm sorry, I can't. Coach Carr invited me to Megan over to help pick up music across on Showdown. Right, Coach? Uh, what? Um, the mix, Cross on Showdown. Oh, tonight, yeah. Sure. Hey, hey, yo, can you... No, you don't touch me. Why? Do you have any idea how stupid I felt when you set up that party with Jerry? You told me you broke up with her. You lied to me. We are broke up. Me. Look. Calm down, okay? She was... Needing a ride, she called me and she just. Oh, you're okay, look, 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 listen, listen. I wasn't. I'm not with her. I came here to see you. That's why I'm here, okay? Lunch money. Here you go. Thank you, Daddy. Wait, where's Ashley? Not my day babysitter. I'm not with her. Okay? No, I can't. You can't what? I can't do this. I mean. Stop it.
Just let me explain. You're with my boyfriend, aren't you? You fugly slut. Slut? You're calling me a slut? Yes, I'm calling you a slut. Yes, I am. You bitch. she or anybody else gets any more stomach cramps, the repercussions will be expulsion. Is that understood? Come on. Yeah, Derek. Where's Lisa? Whose phone is that? Talk to me. Oh, my God, she did what? Lisa, off the phone now. No way. Oh, my gosh, give me details. No way. Oh, my God, you must be kidding me. <laughs> Lisa, <gasps> off the phone now. This is important. Do you mind? You better give me the phone. No way. Oh, my God. Girl, give me the oh. phone. Okay. Meet me the quarter break. Okay, okay. <laughs> there. I'm done. Happy? I can't believe she did that, or the Brooke would call her in the middle of class. What's the big shock here? The Fab Five run this school. Brooke, Lisa, Ashley, all of them. They've been doing exactly as they please for years. But since the pep rally, I thought they'd Did been... you really think a pep rally was going to make a big difference with those girls? Brooke, Brooke. I need to talk to you. What, Mom? Not right now. Look, I have to go to practice. I need to talk to you now. Tabitha, run on ahead. Just go. Yes, ma'am. Mr. Durant just dropped off a disciplinary action referral. What? For phone use in class for you and Lisa. So? Look, do you know how intense she is always getting uphead over nothing? Coach Carr came in with her, and she wants to give you and Lisa demerit for the offense. Are you kidding me? I cannot tell you how royally pissed I am. Yeah, at me. No! At Coach Carr, I didn't hire her to go on a witch hunt for demerits. Why don't you tell me your version of what happened? You don't have a choice. You are getting ten demerits. No, I'm not. Not unless Mr. Spretnik says so. And he won't. How could you do that? Write me up or they even ask me what happened. Okay, first of all, I didn't write you up, Mrs. Durant did. Second of all, it doesn't matter what happened, you girls did what you did, and you have to face the consequences. So if you're not going to sign this, I'm going to be talking to Mr. Spretnik at the end of the day. What is your malfunction, Emma? Well, at the moment, it's your tone, so please watch how you talk to me. Brooke. 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 Do you really think I want to give you demerits after all the hard work you've done? I was crushed when Mr. Durant told me you called Lisa in the middle of class. I thought you were better than that. Yeah, that's what I thought about you, too. And believe me, I won't ever make that mistake again. Oh, and by the way, um, my mom wants to see you in her office. Now. So you're saying we can't give the girls demerits for phone use in class? No. Jerry had just found out that her boyfriend was cheating on her with Ashley, of all people. Apparently, Jerry said she felt suicidal, and Lisa was worried about her, which is why she picked up the phone. If that was why she answered the phone. You know these girls, how they play with the truth to avoid consequences? Look, whether it's true or not, I think it's wrong to let this slide. I really want to instill a sense of accountability in those girls. It's not your job to hold them accountable. It's my job, and it's Mr. Spratnik's job. I would appreciate it if you do your job and get the squad ready for the game tonight. I know it seems I'm being argumentative. I just, I want to do a good job here. I want to do a good job for you. You're new at this, and you haven't learned yet that the people above you with years of experience have good reasons for their decisions. I need you to start figuring that out. You should be warming up for tonight's game. Oh, well, we just want to know if we have to sign the demerit book. I think you already know the answer to that. We need at least two six packs, so Jerry, you go in. No, Brooke, I don't have my, uh, I don't have my big ID. I don't have mine. I thought I told you that. Hey, y'all. It's the left. Hey, give me that. Uh, 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 uh. Hey! <laughs> Wait, no, come on! Oh, 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 got it? Y'all riding dirty? <laughs> yeah, I wish. Hey, gotta be a pro lady? 
Money. Take that too. Oh wait, you guys look. Thanks, dude. Look over there. <laughs> Anyone want to go? <laughs> oh my god. <laughs> Now you should wear them. Hey, hey. Y'all are all 18, right? Just barely. You really think we should be in here? In our uniforms? Look, just relax, okay? I mean, look at all these dirty old men in here. I bet they love naughty cheerleaders. <laughs> Mr. Spretnik. Uh, <laughs> you. Uh, Heat wave. Lubricant. No. I don't want to know. How about some of this bondage tape? Flexi like, dog. Oh, oh my gosh, guys. Oh, oh now that's hot. Oh, that's good. Oh, yeah. <laughs> it's really hot. Right? Like, she is not a real cheerleader. Lip lip I bet she can't do this. Okay. That's Tabitha. <laughs> Wait, you guys come here. Come on. You have to do this. Come on. Hey, um, get, why don't you hold this? Okay. Just... <laughs> okay. Be back. Oh, no. Oh, we have a bus. So oh. sick. Who did you say brought this to your attention? Janice Harper. Her daughter Cindy showed it to her. I'm just not sure how to handle this. No, that's all right. We'll handle it. No, no, Janice Harper's probably shown this to the entire booster club by now. I can't be in this. This is going to have to be handled by central office. about the video. Say it, get it over with. Say what? I told you so. Not what I want to say. What do you want to say? That if anyone can turn the situation around for these girls, it's you. Thanks. <laughs> oh, you're the best. <laughs> you know, I really hate it when you pull me out of class. If you have to talk to me, just wait till lunch. Do you know how difficult damage control is going to be for this? Wait, damage? What damage? Hey, Coach Carr, can we take a video of us? Please? You guys really don't care about what you do or how it affects other people, do you? Look, all we do is make a stupid video. It was supposed to be funny. The jocks around here make sex jokes and active scene all the time. No one throws a fit about that. I guarantee you, if they were in their uniform and off campus, they'd be in big trouble. Oh, so then it's okay as long as we're on campus. Cherry, when you're in your uniform, you represent this whole school. You represent everyone else on your squad. Do you realize that anyone who watches this video is going to think Jackson cheerleaders are a bunch of trashy sluts? <laughs> I am so disappointed in you. disappointed in us. <laughs> well, I guess I shouldn't be. I mean, you did warn me that all you care about is getting noticed. So congratulations, Brooke. You're finally getting noticed. You four are going to sit out until the district decides what your punishment will be. We'll see what my mom says about that. You do realize that in college you won't be able to run to your mother every time you don't like something. Here. It's obvious that you're time of the month. <laughs> all right, you guys. Crosstown showdown is in a couple weeks, so let's go and start stretching. Look who it is, the little Nark. You think we wouldn't find out you showed him on the video? I'm, I'm sorry. No, but you will be. <laughs> I'm, so I'm sorry. I'm sorry. <laughs> Stop it, you guys. Oh, yeah. You're sorry? Yes, really? Are you sorry? Huh? Whoa, 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 
Oh, oh, oh. Wait, you're sorry? I'm sorry. sorry! I'm sorry! What are you sorry for? Hey! Hey! Stop! What are you doing? Are you going to hit me? Don't try to hit me! You want to hit me? Come on, hit me! You know, if you tell anybody about this, I swear to God, you'll get worse. And I kind of hope you do tell. Because it makes me so happy to smash your face. Mom, right now. No, you heard them. <laughs> you can't tell. You have to promise me. Promise me. Thirty days? Come on, that's going way overboard. Pamela, the video showed the girls drinking alcohol. According to the cheerleading constitution, they should actually be removed from the squad. Oh, please, I just read that eighty percent of all high school students drink on occasion. Yeah. It's ridiculous to expect our girls to behave like it's nineteen fifty. Look, I don't want Lisa drinking, but I should be the one to handle it, not our little cheerleading coach. We pay what? Fifteen hundred bucks for girls. Eighteen hundred. Eighteen hundred. Okay, we paid our money. Let's let them cheer. You know I'm not going to appeal. I'm trying to keep myself out of the rain. Come on, you could at least back us up. Or get your little Miss Sunshine coach here to back off. If Coach Carr thinks we're trashy sluts, she's gonna get trashy sluts. Oh, Lord, the sun just came out. Mighty, that is sexy. Uh uh. No way. I've been a lot slab with you girls, but this, the way you're dressed, uh uh. What's wrong with the way we're dressed? You know exactly what I'm talking about, Brooke. Are you looking at her boobs? You perv. I want you, I want all of you right now to get down to the office, get permission to go home and change. Go. I don't think so. Excuse me? You get out of my classroom right now, Brooke. You know what, you might as well get your panties out of the wad because we're not going anywhere. So, what should we talk about today, class? Oh, Miss Brooke? <laughs> yes, Jerry? Um... Let's talk about how Trevor called me last night and said that Ashley is so crap in bed and that she makes sounds like a monkey. Oh, really? Yeah. <laughs> <laughs> oh, baby. I got a banana for you. Run, slut! Run! <laughs> feel so good to be on the other side of it all, does it? I was never as mean as Brooke and Jerry are being to me. I was never that cruel. Yes, you were. You were exactly like them. So I went to Spretnik yesterday about Brooke already having nine absences in my class this year. And this morning I see this. Wait, that says she's been absent three times. Exactly, it's been changed. Yesterday it says nine, this morning it says three, and I didn't change it. Could one of the girls have access to the server? Yeah, it's possible. But it's also possible they didn't have to because someone in that office did it for them. You know, I tried to avoid doing what everybody else here does, and that's just hunker down, watch the calendar, and wait for those little monsters to graduate. But if it's going to be like this, screw it. I'm done fighting. I don't care anymore. Jerry's mom appealed, tap with his mom, Lisa's dad. Brooke. Do you have any idea how hard this is for me? Look, this isn't fair. No one would care about that video if you weren't my mom. You're probably right. Which is why I don't know whether to ground you or feel sorry for you. Why don't you just fight? Okay, you know what, Brooke, you're grounded. Go ahead. Try it, Lorraine. I'm going to call Daddy. I'll tell him if I can't live with him, then I'll disappear. And this time, neither of you will ever see me again. And that's a promise. It's central office. Unnecessary. Lorraine Tippett. Oh, hello, Mr. Tompkins. Yeah, fine, thank you. I could not agree with you more. Mm -hmm. Yes, thank you so much for calling. I will. Mm -hmm. That was Vernon Tompkins, and he has decided to reduce suspension to 15 days plus probation. Yeah, well, no thanks to you. The parents don't want the girls to have consequences. The school doesn't want them to have consequences. And now even the district is backing off. 
So if no one else cares, why should I be the one beating my head against the wall? Because it's not like you to back down from fighting for what you think is right. Well, maybe I should start doing what people with more experience are doing, and all they're doing is watching the calendar until the Fab Five are gone. So fine, I can do that too. What do you want me to say? That it's okay not to rock the boat? Because it is. I mean, I've been in the corporate world. I know how futile it is. Why do you think I went back to get my degree? Hun, I know you think you're leading us some high holy mission, but it's not like there are lives at stake here. Maybe you're right. I'm, I'm just not feeling that good. I'm gonna make some tea. Do you want some? No, I'm fine. Thanks. Okay, so we're gonna go low B, high B, touchdown, tabletop, T. Okay? And three claps? Great. All right, now you guys, yeah, let's go a little closer together. That's hey, guys. Good, nice. Sorry to interrupt. Coach Carr just called, and unfortunately, she's homesick today with the flu. What are you, her errand boy now? So, she asked me to put Megan in charge. Try to remember that you're still on probation, okay? All right, you guys, let's bring it together. Ready? Let's try this again. You Ready? Know, we're jackass. I can't believe actually nice. worship this junk. Good. Temporary insanity. All right, bring it down. Bring it down. Oh, look what I jacked. I love your mom. All right, bring it together. Let's Lock out, lock out. Hey, Megan, we're gonna leave, all right? I don't care what you do, Brooke. No, oh, oh. You suck so bad. You make this whole squad believe Leave her alone. Do you really want to do this again? <laughs> okay, chill, badass. We're out. Let's go. Let's go. Come here. <laughs> oh, take this. Here, let's, let's yeah. go. Get it. Let's, let's, here, here, here. let's go to the mall. I don't want to go to the mall. It's old. Let's do it. Well, let's go to Harris's or something. He'll get us high. We can't go to Harris's. He's not up work yet. <laughs> Wait, let's just go somewhere, right? It's so stupid to waste a buzz here. Fine. Here, here. Come on. Let's well, me <laughs> finish it. Get this freaking hungry. Let's here, I'll kill this. Go, go, go. Oh. <laughs> um. <laughs> At least hot. You pulled this car out way too fast, lady. You have an off campus pass? No, but we have permission to leave. You don't have a pass and you need to park your car. Do you know who I am? Yes, I do. Now park the car. Look, okay, you can go call Mr. Skretnik on your little radio and he'll tell you where I'll have to leave. Hey, Joe, what's going on? Hey there, BLT. You girls need to get out of this car right now. You know, it's it's really funny to me. Um, this is actually a prop for a health class project. You know, I found it in the trash can by the science lab. Why don't uh, don't you girls just tell me what happened? Well, no, we just took a huge test and we we're all tired. And we needed some fresh air. Yeah, so. I was running and it was a really stupid thing, but I fell. And straight to it. Em. You gotta hear this. Everyone is saying you were the one that caught them in the parking lot. You didn't write them up? No, I didn't. But they were drinking on school grounds. There was no alcohol in the bottle. No proof they were drinking. And as for this skipping thing, I think there's a lot of gray area there. I mean, the other squad captain gave them permission to go home. Oh, Megan? Since when can a student give another student permission to leave school? Lorraine, you have to write them up. Keep pushing me, and I will dissolve this program altogether. There will be no more cheerleaders, and I will let everyone know that you're responsible. Now, I have an appointment. Lorraine, before you go. Those Thank girls you. violated their probation. They need to be removed from the squad. I am not about to deliver permanent consequences for an offense I'm not sure they committed. This isn't about embarrassing stuff on the internet anymore. They are becoming a danger to themselves and others. Oh, this conversation is over. Why do you help these girls get away with whatever they want? I know why Lorraine does it. She thinks it'll convince her daughter that she loves her. But what's in it for you? Right, you were becoming irrational. Maybe you need to take another day off until you're feeling... Wasn't it you that altered Brooke Tippett's attendance record in Coach Reeves' class? Or you're completely out of line. This whole school is out of line. And if you're not going to hold these girls accountable for their actions, I will hold them accountable as a squad. I will cancel all activities outside the classroom. I will see them at practices, and that's if it. If you're refusing to perform your duties as cheerleading coach, then I'll just accept that as your resignation. No, I am not resigning. You are going to be dealing with me until you handle this the right way. Why are you making us pay for what they did? 
I know this is hard to understand, but if rules are broken, there have to be consequences. And these are the only consequences I have in my power to deliver. You said you would never quit on us. I'm not quitting. I'm trying to force a change in discipline policy. Can you understand that? Yeah, but I'm tired of them getting away with everything and making us all look bad. You're not hurting us, you know. You're just going to make everyone else hate you as much as we do. Leave. Make me. Practice is canceled today. You can all go home early. I'll let the office know. Still doing here? Waiting for Mr. Studdard. He said he'd be here at 3.15. You went to central office with your cheerleader problems? Well, I think he should know what's going on here, don't you? Do you know what Lorraine's gonna do to you when she finds out you went over her head? She left me no choice. She won't even talk to me about it. Now, obviously, Mr. Studdard won't either. What is wrong with the sisters? Everyone is just burying their heads in the sand. Hi. The girls are just telling me about what happened today, and they're pretty upset about it. Janice, I need your help. Oh, come on in. What's going on here? After meeting with Coach Carr and a number of the booster parents, Mr. Spretnak and I have decided that you girls will be written up for skipping class on Tuesday. And this is because of what she wants? <clears throat> Most of the girls will receive 10 to 12 demerits total. But Jerry already has 10, so 20 is now her total. And 20 means removal from the squad. That's it, Jerry. You're off the squad. Really? I mean, really. Because my mom is going to be very interested to hear about this. This is twice now that you've gotten me kicked off the squad. For what? What did I ever do to you? Jerry, this isn't about what you've done to me. It's about she what... is totally manipulating you, and you're letting her. Aren't you? Aren't you? Answer me! Answer me! So if you're wondering why I'm giving you erasers, well, we've had a pretty rough time. And I know this is cheesy, but this is what my high school coach used to do when she wanted us to start fresh. That's what the squad needs, a fresh start. Would you like me to tell you where you can put that eraser? Disrespect to a teacher is 10 to merit, so go ahead, tell me. Sorry, coach, but I'm respectfully declining your eraser. No, she just gave us these. You took it? Why didn't you tell her to stick it up her ass? Why didn't you? You know what? This is our squad. Our school. We were here before that bitch. You know what? We're gonna be happy. She's gone. You said so much you know about it. All right. All right, and you say this, um, this affair has been going on since before last semester? Yes, sir. I definitely heard Coach Carr say to him, what if your wife finds out? All right, well, just keep this to yourselves, all right? I'll, I'll take care of it. I need you to come with me and sit through the first round of Pamela Blackburn's appeal over Jerry being removed from your squad. At camp this summer, did you or did you not encourage the girls to break curfew and go with you to buy tape for the purpose of playing pranks on the other girls? Yes, but I didn't consider breaking curfew because they were with me. And did you let them get away with sending a sexually explicit message to Coach Ree from your cell phone? No, I didn't let them get away with it. You didn't give them any formal punishment. <clears throat> so, if you let them break some rules and not others, how are they supposed to know where you draw the line? The line at school is very clear. Drinking is not allowed. Neither is skipping class. Did you frequently flirt with Coach Reeve, a married man, in front of the girls? Lorraine, why am I the one on trial here? We're supposed to be discussing Jerry's behavior issues. Emma, you can't kick a girl off the squad and not have questions raised about how that came about. I'm curious to hear your answers. One, two, two. Come on, you guys. You haven't hit this once yet today. Let's try it again. Come on. One, two, two. Come on. Stay, 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 stay straight. No, no, no. no. Get up. Cindy, get up. I can't do it. Yes, you can. Get up. I'm not helping much, am I? You're straightening your arms too early, so it's throwing your balance off. So I want you to stay up straight until you're up, and then extend your arms. Can we do that? Can we all try this again? Yeah. Okay. Ready? One, two. Down the straight. Sydney, Sydney, squeeze, squeeze, squeeze. Yes, yes, yes! 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 Yes!
test. Hey, Red, how'd you do? I nailed it. Lisa, what's that on your leg? Nothing. I didn't cheat. Okay, fine. I wrote the test answers on my leg. Big whoop. All right, I have to write you up for academic dishonesty. You're going to be benched for another two weeks. You're just trying to keep me out of the Crosstown showdown. Just like you're doing to Jerry. You guys need to start thinking of consequences before you break the rules. Let's do it again. Cindy, okay, remember, we're not going to straighten too soon. I hate you! Everyone hates you! Why don't you just quit? Let's start with the dance, okay? Come on, start from the top. Five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. Hi, Daddy. I'm so sorry to bother you at work, but remember you said to call you if Coach Carr starts picking on me again? One, look, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six, seven, eight. One, two, three, four, five, six. My dad wants to talk to you. He spoke to Mr. Reiseberg, and Mr. Reiseberg says that you can't stop me from performing at the Crosstown Showdown. That if you give me demerits, you have to let me work them off. Go ahead. Talk to him. How can I coach with no authority whatsoever? You either need to make sure I have some control over this squad, or you tell Supervisor Tompkins I'll resign as cheerleading coach. Hi, Miss Dubitz. I need to see that in writing. Thank you. You think I quit? That's usually what I resign means, yeah. Oh, Lorraine's not going to accept that resignation. She knows I'm a good coach. She just wanted me to write it down and so she can take it to district and show them. Look, we have a problem. Did she tell you that? Oh, God, I was going to think I quit on them. I need to write them an email. This has been the most meaningful time in my life. You girls mean more to me than you will ever know. <laughs> Mom! You know what to say, right? I'm not an idiot. Mom, come in here. Mom, Coach Carr sent us an email. You should read it. I've been trying to tell you. She's psycho. My mom says Coach Carr's an embarrassment. She said she's mostly embarrassed for you. Superintendent Tompkins told my mother he doesn't know why you ever hired her. So I read your email to the girls several times, and I do have one question. You wrote whether or not I continue this journey with you. You do realize that your journey here at Jackson is over. Right? May I tell the girls before I go? No, you may not. We're to leave campus immediately. You're not our coach anymore. I guess someone didn't want you here. You girls always get what you want, don't you? Yeah, you could see that. You know, for a while there, I thought you girls were actually on your way to come. Shut school. up. Get out of our school. I feel the most sorry for you, Brooke. You have so much potential, and you just drove away the one person willing to help you. The meeting was a joke. The 22 parents signed a letter demanding your reinstatement, and Mr. Stutter tried to stop us from reading it. And why did they bother to hold a meeting if they had no intention of listening to us? How are the girls doing? They feel abandoned. Lorraine told them you quit on them. It's only going to get worse. A TV reporter called me. She's doing a story about the video on the internet. And the question she asked? It's going to be if cheerleaders gone wild. What is this reporter's name? You're not thinking of talking to her. Maybe I can talk her out of doing the story. I doubt that. It's airing tonight. Well, then I better go. What's the station name? What if she asked you for an interview? Then I'll do an interview. Coach Emma Carr said she tried to bring order to the team, leveling punishments for offenses ranging from skipping classes to posting a sexually suggestive video on the internet. The Jackson High School administration declined our request for an interview. Carr said that her attempts to Why they blur were thwarted by the high school principal, Lorraine Tippett, who has a daughter on the squad. Yes, I mean, some of the girls behave badly, but the real problem were the adults. The school administration enabled them, the school district refused to take interest, and the girls' parents did everything they could to help them avoid consequences. Uh, no, we are totally famous. Feeling Paris Hilton? More than Lindsay Lohan vibe. 
with a touch of Britney and her sister. Girls, it's good to be bad. The school board is very unhappy about the publicity. Very unhappy. Once I realized how unstable Coach Carr was, I asked for her resignation. Well, the board has asked me to hire an independent investigator to look into discipline issues at Jackson. But there are no discipline issues at Jackson. The problem here was an immature teacher who wasn't up to the job and is now using the media to spread lies. Yeah, I know. And we're releasing a statement to that effect. Now, we expect the investigator to tell us the same thing. Mm. Can you assure me his investigation would tell us the same thing? I promise you, Vern, I will make sure that everyone at Jackson cooperates with your investigator. Okay. It's not true that I get special treatment here. If anything, people are even hard on me because my mom's the principal. Oh, I would agree. It's not easy being the principal's daughter. People watch her. They hold her to a different standard. I work 40 hours a week, so I can't watch Tabitha every moment. Yet she motivates herself to get good grades, do volunteer work, and work her ass off as a cheerleader. She was so hot for Coach Reeves, she'd ignore us to flirt with him. Here, I took this picture of them on my phone. I know a few parents are asking for her reinstatement, and I hope they do bring her back. Then I can sue this school for my daughter's emotional suffering. Mom, mom, if you would just let me, please stop. Mother, just let me explain. I'm trying to, mom. I'll take some She's the most nervous. So was it weird? If you're wondering whether I told the truth or not, I did. Even though certain people are going to hate me the rest of my life, yeah, but other people are going to respect you for telling the truth. Yeah, like who? I mean, if you haven't noticed, I don't have friends anymore. Well, you could. You'd have a whole squad full of them. If you wanted them. Hello? Emma, it's Helen and Adam. Oh, God, it's so good to hear from you guys. Lorraine, forbid everybody on staff to speak to you. You're kidding me. Well, then why are you calling? Well, so I can tell you how pissed I am that you're dragging us into this investigation thing. Oh, stop it. He's not mad at you. It's just the investigator was grilling him about the two of you, asking if there was a sexual relationship, if you ever acted inappropriately with him. Yeah, my wife wants to know why they're asking that question. Oh, God, I'm so sorry. I don't see the point of all this, Emma. It's not like you're going to be able to take Lorraine down. I'm not trying to take her down. I'm just trying to change things for the girls. You should be trying to get your job back. I just hope this investigator's going to find out the truth. They didn't hire him to find the truth, huh? look a little uncomfortable that's because i am uncomfortable with the process or with me oh i welcome the process i just don't trust you from what i hear you've been paid to hang me out to dry this isn't a very auspicious start well you did say you wanted me to be honest yes i did What are you doing here? Talking to the investigator? He's not going to believe a word you said. Do you know what all this means for you? My life is exactly the way I want it to be. Is that right? This video of you and the internet and the stories in the media, do you really think that USC is going to accept you as a student, let alone a song girl? After conducting over 70 interviews, I believe I have identified the source of the problems with the cheerleading program. As you know, the most recent coach, Emma Carr, quit in an untimely fashion, then unwisely took her accounts to the media. However, I find her actions understandable, given the problems she encountered at Jackson. Problems centered on a popular group of cheerleaders who were highly resistant to authority. These girls were literally given carte blanche to behave as they pleased by their parents and by the school administration. Regrettably, I found that Jackson's principal, Lorraine Tippett, failed to juggle two of the most important responsibilities in her life, principal and mother. And it is she who is accountable for the situation we find ourselves in today. <laughs> Entertain me. Am I at the four of you in class? We're just waiting for my mom to get out of her meeting. And of course, this takes all four of you. That's the fab four to you, Reeve. I have been placed on suspension. And so is Mr. Spretnik. The report faulted me. 
when all I've ever tried to do is keep you out of this mess. Wait, you know what? Don't blame us because your investigator turned out to be a stupid moron. You know what, Brooke? You'll never talk to me like that again. Now go clean out your locker. For what? Because I'm pulling you out of this school. Oh, like hell you are! This is my school in my senior year! Not anymore, it's not. Go clean out your locker. Or what? Or your mother is gonna drag you to it by your hair. Excuse me, Miss Tippett. What about us? I don't know what your parents are gonna do with you. You're definitely gonna be removed from the squad. Your cheerleading days in this district are over. Come on, I get the boy out. Hey, don't. Don't watch them. Of course, I'm disappointed Superintendent Hopkins decided not to let me have my job back. I loved being a coach. I loved being a teacher. But this whole thing, it's, it's not about me. And I know you guys are going to continue to call this a real-life Mean Girls story, but it's not even about what the girls did. It's about how they felt entitled to the way they were being treated by the lack of boundaries. And I think all of us, we have an obligation to set boundaries and stick by them. Principal Tibbets, Vice Principal Rednick. You'd be happier. The report vindicated you. Yeah, jobs were lost, reputations were ruined. And for what? And what difference did I really make? You were invited. Yeah, but Janice, but what if the girls don't want me to be here? But if you don't want to say hi to the girls because you think it's going to make them uncomfortable, we can just watch them perform and then go. Emma, I'm over here. How are you? You got here just in time. Yes. <laughs> She was given an assignment to write an essay about the person she most admired for overcoming adversity. And she picked you. She wrote about how brave you were for standing up for the school district. If you like, I'll print you out a copy. And now entering our Southwest Regionals for the very first time, let's give it up for Jackson High! Woo!